live from Union Square in San Francisco, the Southwest Airlines Chinese New Year Parade, with your hosts, Ben Fong Torres and Julie Hayner. It's the year of the rooster, the 10th zodiac sign in Chinese astrology. This sign is associated with a year of excitement, adventure, and new beginnings. Many say there's a lot to crow about this year. It's a time to embrace opportunities and navigate new challenges. You can feel the energy in the air as we kick off the Southwest Airlines Chinese New Year Parade. We're live in San Francisco's Union Square celebrating 4715, the year of the rooster. Good evening, everyone. I'm Julie Hayner. And I'm Ben Fontoris, the Chinese New Year's celebration is the largest of its kind outside of Asia. Tonight you will see beautiful floats, fantastic costumes, magical creatures, playful lions, and a 268 foot and growing golden dragon. It is a San Francisco tradition that reaches all the way across the Pacific. Yeah. So let's get things started right now. The legendary San Francisco Lesbian Gay Freedom Band has been marching in the Chinese New Year Parade since 1979. Its mission? Provide for the education and musical development of its members, promote visibility of lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender communities, and foster understanding among diverse communities through public performances. Let's listen. The band was recognized as the official band of San Francisco in honor of its 20th and 25th anniversaries by the Board of Supervisors. They also are recognized as one of the first openly gay musical organizations in the world. They are given credit for inspiring the formation of LGBT bands, choruses, and performance groups around the world. just was not enough. This instant replay is our Ford picture-perfect moment. And there's still much more to come when the Southwest Airlines Chinese New Year Parade returns right after this.